Welcome to my house. He was a drifter, moving from town to town, robbing a gas station here, a grocery store there, until one night. She was coming home from choir practice, but she never got there. Stoff took her purse and ran away. It spent, Stoff had to run and hide. He sunk even lower. He had nothing. No life, no possessions, no dreams. And that's when the vision came. A doll. And in his dream, Stoff reached out. It was a gift. Stoff carved the doll, whittling the haunting face until it was an exact replica. And when he was done, Stoff went to town, to a bar. The owner had a daughter. Ooh, he said his girl would love the strange doll. And Stoff offered it to the man. And the owner, in turn, offered Stoff food and a place to stay. A simple transaction. The first of many. And that night, Stoff Another vision. Stoff created the puzzle just as he saw it, and everyone wanted one. Stoff opened up a shop because everyone wanted a Stoff toy. Every boy and girl in the town from all the neighboring towns. A Stoff toy is a toy for life, people said, and no two are alike. Everyone loved his unique toys. Henry Stoff grew wealthy, but then the strange virus came, and some of the children started dying. <coughs> dying, clutching their Stoff toys so close. There was this one last vision, a last dream of a great house, a mansion that the wealthy toy maker was to build. A strange house, a house that scared people. My, isn't this a cheery place? I'm not sure we should have been here today. Why? Because it's a spooky old house? <laughs> Don't worry, dear. I'll watch out for you. Oh! What a dump! I expected more of Mr. Stump. Lord, it smells awful, too. What's Stoff been doing here? Old man Stauff built a house and filled 
filled it with his toys. Six guests were invited one night, their screams the only noise. Blood inside the library, blood right up the hall, dripping down the attic stairs. Hey guests, try not to fall. Nobody came out that night. Not one was ever seen. But old mad stuff is waiting there. <laughs> Crazy, sick, and mean! I guess our host wants us to fend for ourselves. <laughs> oh, I've tasted better fare. At least he left his regrets. I'll show you mine, if you show me yours. I, uh, I don't know. Uh... Oh, it says that we're each to have a piece. Exactly the same, including the symbols. Why, that's impossible. Don't worry, I won't bite. Edward, we could help each other out. I could help you, and you could help me. Come and talk in my bedroom upstairs, where it's nice and private. All the seven guests have gathered. You must figure out what I want. It's a puzzle, Mrs. Knox. And mind you, the others are also working at the same task. <laughs> it may all depend on who has the greatest need, or who is the bravest. There are clues throughout this house as to what must be done. The house is alive with clues. Hoping to meet you in the flesh. I mean, you name your host, Henry Snuff. Yes, this is it. No, it isn't. Mr. Dutton, welcome to my house. The arrangement is simple. You are to spend the night as my guest, and in exchange, I will give you your heart's most secret desire. And you know what that is, Mr. Dutton, don't you? I require one thing of you, a special service, a task that I set up for you. There's a guest who hasn't arrived yet. A guest unlike the six of you, a very special guest. Your services involve that guest. You must wonder what that service is, but that is the game, Mr. Dutton. The puzzle I've set for you. This is all I can tell you, Mr. Dutton. In the morning, only one of my guests will walk out of this house with his or her 
every wish granted. Come on! Come on! Come! Please! Want the boy? No, curse you! You can't! Hey, who are you? I just want to get out of here. Please, I just want to get out of here. Who are you? Why did you come here? <laughs> wait, wait! I know who you are. I know who you are. You're the seventh guest. And what I just saw. <gasps> now I understand. Oh, sweet. Mercy, I understand! Mister, I'm sorry! I just came here, they dared me! The king? You? You're the one! I'm gonna leave, mister! Don't! Don't run away, please! Don't run away! Don't go! Don't go! Just like the bed I used to have. Wait! Come back! Don't! You have to leave, son. You have to come with me. Why should I trust you? Trust him. Please, come back before! Not if you and I work together. We can solve Stomp's puzzle. We can win. You can get what you want, Edward. What is it that you want? Edward, shall I try to guess? I know where the puzzles are to be solved. I'll take you there, but first... The perfume, the smells, it, it's, it's changing. I, I can't breathe. I feel so sick. I will give you everything. I will give you what you want. Oh, it's so beautiful. And... Oh, it's a maze. I remember doing something like this when I was a little girl. You have to follow it all the way to the center. I heard singing upstairs. Like some mad choir. Well, I heard nothing except you rummaging around your room, yelling like a crazy man. And I, why, well, I saw blood. <laughs> how ghastly. I don't know how to describe what I saw. Why, none of them has ever well, seen. None of the rest of us saw anything. How boring. I suggest we all leave and have some supper. I think that we were meant to eat the soup. Wait! Wait, we need some rules. 
We need to stick together, play as a team. Oh. Don't be such a bore, darling. <laughs> it's a game. That's why we're invited. It's a game. Everyone for himself. Or herself. <laughs> Crazy old star is watching us, scaring us, watching us play at his puzzles. Only he knows the rules. Only star knows the rules. Mm. Rules. Yes. Oh, this is it. All oh, this money. <laughs> rich, filthy rich. <laughs> no. What is this? What? What's going on? <laughs> A secret room. This is the puzzle that Stop set out. And I solve it. didn't use such heavy weight. Ah, perhaps this is the secret of Stoff's power. Yes! What's the noise? Yes! Temple, what the hell are you doing? Stop it! Stop what you're... No! Stop! This must be your room. But I don't want to go in yet. I'm still a little shaky. There's nothing to be scared of. Except Stoff's tricks. Will you be in your room? Yes. Or the game room. We all want something, don't we? I mean, that's what we're here for, isn't it? I suppose so. And, and what is... <gasps> what is it that you want? 
Ha! Not much. Just... I've been a stage magician all my life. I want to know, is there real magic? Does Stoff know that? Can Stoff give that to me? I? No, we. We need to find a way out. We need to start our life over again. I mean, Edward has gotten us into such debt, and there's no money. <laughs> what about the others? I don't know. <laughs> I've seen this room before. I know what this is. Strange paintings. Sick. No! Stop struggling. Stop struggling, a lot of squeeze you till you pop. He's ours, Duffin! We figured out what to do. The boy is ours! No! The boy's mine. I won! I solved the puzzle! Oh, take him now! Get away! Well, give us the boy, Duffin. We know what to do with him. Get away! this room, a room filled with dolls, locked. Unless, oh no, I know what this is. I know what these dolls are. Don't you see? Don't you see what this is? There's a... I love my mommy. Where's my mommy? Where's I my... know that voice. She lived next door to us. And Samantha, she got sick and, oh no. Dolls are the children. The children's spirits became these dolls. That was his deal. Stoff took the children, but not all of them. Only a certain number. And that's it. A certain number. What? What was that you just said? For tonight, the children had to be collected. There must be one more child coming. The last guest. No! No! He's here already! I've seen him! He ran away! 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 The others are learning about the boy. What must happen to him? What must be done? We've got to find him and get him out! No, help me! No! You look downstairs, and I'll look upstairs. We must move fast before the others. No. 
Oh, I won't hurt you, Jocelyn. Come upstairs. It hasn't happened yet. Let me! No! Let me! It's happening. I, I've been here before. I've seen all this. Over and over. Help me! Someone, please! Try to help. Try to help myself. Always failing. You little... Rat!